One time Derby Hope telescope returned to action in superb style at Leicester today. You can see a full replay elsewhere on the website. Meanwhile, Paul Hannigan continued his good form in the blue and white of Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum aboard Gasaba. This progressive type was third at Kempton on her debut in which the form has stacked up well and was following up on a success at Yarmouth three weeks ago. The winning jockey said she is improving mentally and physically and could be okay. Gasabar takes it up inside the last furlong. On the far side in second is Lovesum. Coming late from a long way back It's Burning Dawn. He's left it too late because Gasabar is coming away to win it for Paul Hannigan, the Manigan, and Sheikh Hamdan. In second place is Burning Dawn. Hot favourite Thura was once again turned over as Panika wore him down to win the mile and a quarter maiden. The son of Sir Percy in the purple and white had shown some promise in two starts and has come on well from those runs to land the spoils. Thura was courting his fifth second on the bounce. Is uh, Panika, who's coming now at the favourite. Back in third is Bushel, who can find no more. It's Thura, Sylvester D'Souza. Here comes Freddy Tuliski on Panika. Panika's coming at this favourite. Half a, half a furlong left to run. Can Panika get up close home? Yes, Panika wins it. Beats Thura, who's second. Meanwhile at Brighton, Ahmed al Sabusi recorded his first winner in the UK on his fourth attempt. And it couldn't have been much easier as Sadiq cruised to victory under the £7 claimer. The previous course and distance winner in the All Blue of Godolphin was making his handicap debut here and looks one to follow. Ahmad al Sabusi, first winner coming up for him in the Godolphin Blue Colours. He'll think the game's a doddle here. Sadiq absolutely breezes to victory. In second place, Bartak accepted defeat some time ago, and Sadiq crosses the line eight or nine lengths clear of Bartak, and they in turn were a good 30 lengths clear of Bayleaf. Over in Ireland, Shamar made it two on the bounce when running out a decisive winner of the novice hurdle over two miles and one furlong. The French recruit in the pale pink colours scored last time at Cork in May after having disappointed on soft ground prior to that. The two to one chance clearly appreciates this better ground getting the better of the well-fancied sizing platinum. Shammer is the leader at the last, over in front of Quipasa, and on the run-up towards the finish, it's Shammer who stretches on for Ruby Walsh and goes on to score by just over three lengths. Quipasa second, sizing platinum back in third, another rebel, Gardaletto, followed in by Jonathan Wilde, and then came... Tribes and Banners stayed on well to take the most prestigious race on the card, a handicap hurdle over two miles and one furlong. The nine-year-old has been a great servant, recording his tenth success here today. As they come down now to the final flight, Tribes and Banner from Anasu in second as they race up towards the finish. It's Tribes and Banner, driven out by John Collin, will win the Dawn Milk Run handicap hurdle. Anasu, high importance and Liberty's gift, close for third and fourth. And finally, the two market leaders fought it out to the line in the maiden over one mile and three furlongs with the six to four favourite absolutely fantastic getting the better of beyond Berlin. The Henry de Bromhead trained six-year-old in the familiar red, green and yellow colours was a beaten favourite at this track on Monday but has clearly improved for that run. He's one to keep an eye on for the jump season. With absolutely fantastic on the near side. These two go on from Noble Call. They're inside the last 200. And on the near side, absolutely fantastic. And Billy Lee on the far side beyond Berlin, running up towards the finish. Absolutely fantastic. And Billy Lee just beat beyond Berlin. Then came in third place, back off mate Lady Temptress. Noble Call cleared of plastic.